Hi, my name is Holly Nichols, and I'm here today with Tony Stoltzfus of Leadership Metaformation. And we are asking the question today, how do we experience God when we've had major disappointments? Where do we see the goodness of God? So Tony, today I want to ask you, when someone has faced a betrayal, or they've lost a loved one, or you're just stuck in this place of disappointment, how can we experience God to be able to get healing and health and move forward in life? That's a great question, Holly. And I know for me, some of the greatest things that God has ever done for me happened in the midst of the most difficult times, in the middle of losing my life's work, betrayal, uh, failure. Those are places where God really met me. And the key to meeting God in difficult times is perspective. There's a perspective switch that you need to make from the the common human perspective sounds like this is bad um it hurts so much i just want to get out of it and look at the terrible things other people in the world have done to me the perspective of heaven is it doesn't matter who caused this it doesn't matter why it happened even if it was my own fault i still respond to it the same way if i come to God with my whole heart and engage him, he's going to be able to make this turn out for good. And the word good in that passage, Romans 8, 28, it means inward goodness or good character. So the key perspective switch is something bad is happening outside of me in my outer world, but God is going to take that and use it to make something beautiful in my inner world. So, so what do you do if you're stuck? Like if you're in this place of disappointment, for instance, like somebody betrayed you, you trusted them with information and then they totally went and shared it with people that you were not expecting that to happen and it damages your relationship, but you want to be able to get past that and you want to get free. How do you do that? One of the first things you want to do is just take the immediate pain to Jesus. And you might go to Jesus and ask him a question like this. So Jesus, I'm feeling totally exposed and vulnerable here. How am I safe in you? And a question like that lets Jesus speak to your desire for security and it helps you. What you'll discover is probably to some extent your feeling of security was rooted in people and not in Jesus. And the situation gives you the opportunity to to reset that and in a whole new way um, bring your security needs to Jesus. So not only is there the opportunity there for a, a higher discipleship, there's an opportunity for a deeper intimacy with Jesus. Because a part of you that was connected somewhere else now gets connected with him, and you're finding him to be your source in a new way. So that's a great first step. The second step is, okay, I got hurt here probably because there's already a hole in my heart. <laughs> so what is my pain of of rejection, of vulnerability that I've carried with me from before this. So this situation gives you the opportunity to get healed for everywhere in your life you've experienced that. And the third thing that comes out of this is for most people, their life purpose, their destiny comes out of an experience of suffering. It's sort of weird. The people who do destiny are always saying, you know, look at what your passion is and look at what you, makes your heart sing. And that's part of it. But actually, for most people, the foundation of their call is something that they overcome or a difficulty they went through and experienced, and then they want to bring their victory to other people. So as you get healed, what's going to happen is God is going to build ministry and he's going to build destiny right in that place where you lost something. And he takes the loss and makes it into gain for you. And it's a beautiful thing. Wow, that is actually really helpful and impactful to my heart. Thank you for sharing that. If I want to get a greater perspective on my own suffering and being able to have an encounter to really get more breakthrough, what would you recommend? Like, how, What are resources that are available that I could use to be able to go further in this area? I've coached hundreds of people about their most difficult moments over the years, and we've developed a couple things out of that. One is the book Heaven's Perspective. It includes 17 real life stories about 
the most painful situations in people's lives, and we've taken their stories, interviewed them, and then rewritten their story from heaven's perspective. So the book is their stories and then a letter from Jesus of how that whole situation looks within God's purposes. And it's a powerful experience to have your story rewritten. You can actually go to that website, heavensperspective.com, and have your story rewritten. Or if you want to really go after this, we have a workshop called Living from the Heart. That's three and a half days of perspective tools and encounters with God around your story to help you take whatever's happened to you and fit it within the purposes of God for your life. And you will make some amazing discoveries about how your destiny comes out of difficulty. And you'll make some incredible discoveries about how God's been active in places of your life where you didn't know what he was doing or if he was even there. And part of what makes this workshop experience so special it includes a 90-minute taste of heaven experience uh, for living from the heart. This includes actors, staging, lighting, original music. You will get the experience of having your story rewritten from heaven's perspective and get a personal letter uh, from Jesus about what he's doing in your most difficult moments. So it's a powerful, powerful workshop, and people come out of it really changed. So I'd love to invite you to join us for Living from the Heart. If you look at our website, meta-formation.com, you'll see there where you can register and get more information. Uh, love to see you come.